Hi guys, so tonight I'm going to be starting a new type of video and it's going to be um, a movie must see. I'm going to do three. I'm going to start doing it probably towards the end of each month, probably post them on Saturday or like today, just kind of maybe the last day of the month. And it'll be my top three must see movies for that month that I've seen and they could be new releases, uh, older movies, stuff coming to DVD, really anything I've seen over um, the past month that has stood out to me and been just a really great movie. And then possibly, I'm definitely going to do this tonight because I have a movie that I, I want to recommend that no one see. It's just, it's not good and it's sad because I was really looking forward to seeing it. So, but for now we'll start with uh, the good movies. So my third recommended movie for you guys that is an absolute must see uh, for me, and it's kind of more of a fun movie, and it, it, well, horror fun, I guess, it is My Soul to Take by Wes Craven. And even fans of him, I don't, I don't know, a lot of people gave it pretty bad reviews, and I don't understand why. You have to have the right expectations when you go to see a movie. You're not going to go to a horror film and wait to be thrilled by some amazing film that deeply moves you. You're going for the entertainment and shock value. And Wes Craven, I mean, he did the Scream movies, what redefined the horror movie for that whole generation. Now, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a different style for him. It was about this mass murderer in this small little sleepy town, and um, they think that he's been killed, and seven kids were born on the night of his murder. And now a lot of people in town have their own thoughts about that this soul that was inside of him, this evilness, has gone into one of these children. And the different parts of the movie you think it might be different people, but it, it, you can go see it and see how it turns out. But if you enjoy horror films, you enjoy any kind of suspense or thriller, or even a mystery, because you kind of have something to figure out on this one, and I really enjoyed that fact about this one. It's, it's really good. I definitely recommend it. It's good entertainment. Don't go in with some extremely high expectation. Go in just wanting to be entertained. Number two, the next movie I'm definitely recommending people see is Winter's Bone. It was up for, um, wasn't up for Best Picture, but it was amazing. Uh, it starred Jennifer Lawrence, who's a newcomer, and she was up for Best Actress, which is an amazing feat to accomplish, as well as John Hawks, who plays her uncle in the movie, and he was up for Best Supporting Actor. Both did a phenomenal job. Neither won at the Oscars last night, but both definitely deserve to be nominated. It is a very, very powerful movie. It's, it's one you kind of have to take in stride. I guess it's it's not that it's difficult to watch but I mean it's very deep subject matter and it's hard to watch but it's about this girl who is trying to track down her father who has skipped his bail and they're gonna lose their house it's about her trying to find him so they can keep the house because she has to take care of her brother and sister because her mom essentially is just not all there anymore in the head because of all the things that their father has done it's a really good movie and as one at the end it's kind of it's hard to describe how you feel because I guess you feel a little bit of relief for her, but I mean, it's not its not a happy story. And just know that going in, but it is definitely, if you enjoy a good film, this is definitely one to see. And my number one absolute must, must see, you must see this movie, rent it right away, is Secretariat. And I wanted to see it when it came out, but I was a little, not skeptical, but I was hesitant because usually inspirational films there's some sad portions in it and I try to steer away from the sad movies because I cry really easily at sad movies but it was well worth the few tears I shed. It is a fantastic story and if you enjoy horse racing, you enjoy animals, anything of that sort, you will enjoy Secretariat so much. Diane Lane does a wonderful job playing Penny Chenery who was um, the real woman who uh, bred and raised this horse and just did such a fantastic job and then John Malkovich is in it as the trainer and he, he has plenty of comic relief for any really heavy moments it's really a triumphant true story and definitely worth giving a watch to so those were my three must sees for February and as far as what not to see like I said earlier I was very very disappointed I so wanted to see this film it was buried <laughs> with Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Reynolds only. <laughs> he was the only person you saw for an hour and a half in a coffin. And, it, I mean, he 
he's over in Iraq, he's a truck driver there bringing food, he's doing good things, but they kidnap him and bury him, and they leave him with his cell phone and some things, so you hear him talking to people throughout the movie, but it is, I thought that it was possibly going to flash between him and the people who were trying to help him, and it was literally just him in a box for an hour and a half. And they may have been trying to give the effect of making you feel like you're in that box and feeling very claustrophobic and scared, but after a while, it really wore off and you just didn't care anymore. And the ending to me was very, very predictable. And once again, not every movie has to have a happy ending to be a good movie, but it has to have a good ending. You, you shouldn't leave just saying, well, <laughs> you know, I sadly just gave up an hour and a half of my time for something that really was not worth it at all. And that's sad because I love Ryan Reynolds and I love films like this. And if it had done, if it had been done a little bit better, I think it would have been a very big success. But watching somebody in a box that long wasn't good. <laughs> so those were my three must-sees and one that I, you know, just don't recommend for you guys. And I'll be doing this, like I said, towards the end of each month, just going over my favorites and if I go see a movie at the theater or see something that I really enjoy, I'll still share that with you guys, review it for you, and let you know what I think. But uh, until then, and I should be doing a video next week sometime, I'm hoping to get out and see a movie, and I'll review that for you. Until then, uh, you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.